Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got two replays in the tier 6 British medium tank, the Cromwell, or more specifically, the Crommy Derp. Yes, it is the Crommy Derp, we've got two replays with the Derp gun in the Cromwell, because the Cromwell with the Derp gun is hilarious. It's pretty awful, but it's also pretty hilarious. And there is only one time that I ever truly take this tank out, and that is with Turkey, because me and Turkey always end up taking this tank out with the derp gun, and then memes ensue, which is why this first replay is from a bloody long while ago, <laughs> and then the second replay is from more recently, because, yeah, well, you know, Turkey doesn't play all that often anymore, he still does play, but not all that often, so when we actually get the ch chance to take out tanks like the Cromwell derp, like the Churi, it, it, you know, it, it comes along every so often, and you've actually got to have something decent happen, because I will tell you, the Cromwell Derp is so inconsistent, it's unbelievable, because have you seen, have you seen the shells? <laughs> have you seen that velocity? Oh, my lord above, the velocity is awful. Yeah, the velocity on the Cromwell Derp is what makes the meme, right? Because the velocity is so bad, but it does hit hard, this tank, if it hits and pens. You've got to hit, though. Because, yeah, this tank does have 0.53 accuracy, which, yep, yeah, means that the the accuracy is pretty bad, and it misses a hell of a lot. And add to the 0.53 accuracy, obviously, you've got, like, 200... I think it's 230 metres a second shell velocity. Or 240, I think it's actually 240 metres a second shell velocity. Which is extremely slow. Which means that, yeah, you see your shells loop. And you can actually, with this gun, auto-aim and fire over ridge lines, and you can still have the chance of hitting... I mean, just look at that shell! <laughs> oh, God. It's so slow. <laughs> oh, this gun is so many memes. I, honestly, you can have such a laugh with it. You just have to try not to take it seriously. It takes a hell of a lot to get the most out of it. And it does have the issue that the Crommy Derp can also run out of ammunition quite easily as well. Because you can see you don't have too many rounds. It has 47 pen on the standard HE and 110 pen on the heat for 280. And with how fast this fires actually, for 280 alpha, 110 pen is not too bad really. Especially if you get in a top tier game where you can actually pen those heat rounds. You can have a pretty damn nice time. And as you can see, you can just irritate tanks. Like, oh my god, look at that shell. Oh, it's just so slow. Oh my word. Hey, honestly, I, it's, it's absolute memes. It takes a hell of a lot to get the most out of it, but you can have so many memes with this tank. Like, oh, some of the silly stuff you can do is great. But you can also play it like a Cromwell, and as you've seen in this first replay, we managed to do 1300 damage so far with 2.6k assistance, because we are playing it like a Cromwell, and a Cromwell, you can play it like a pretty damn nice little scout tank at times, and you can get a lot of assistance. So in terms of a crew on the Crommy Derp, or the Cromwell in general, I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, Sixth Sense, Situational Awareness, Camouflage Expertise, Muffled Shot, Steady Aim, Snapshot, Run and Gun. The three gun perks to make this gun as good as it humanly can be. The Camouflage Expertise and the Muffled Shot to make the camo nicer on this tank, because you can get the camo down really, really nice. And I just want to be able to help that if I can. And then in terms of equipment, I run a couple of different things, actually. I run Advanced Loader. The GLD and optics, optics to be able to spot for myself, the GLD to get the 2.3 second aim time way down, because you can see the bloom is horrific on this gun. When you start moving, the bloom just goes all over the shop, and you want to try and get this gun to be able to aim in as quickly as possible, and advance loaded to make the DPM better. But you could quite easily drop the GLD and have vents to have the max, oh my goodness me, that pen, that's beautiful. That's why this gun can be beautiful, those sorts of pens. But yeah, you could run a the events to get the maximum view range out the tank, get the everything better in general about the tank. Or you could run the camo net, like I say, to... Oh my lord, what a pen that is as well! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> or you could run the camo net to make the camo really filthy on this tank. And we finished that first game with 4 kills, 2.2k damage, 3k assistance, the ace tanker, the high calibre, and the 2.1k base XP. Oh my goodness me, this tank is so filthy at times. It's just beautiful. And when you hit some of those shots, like you saw on that 1357, oh boy, is it hilarious. You just, 
you fire, you hope for the best, and you, when it hits, you go, oh my god, really? Wow. Okay, we'll take it. And as you can see, we're in the second replay. In the second replay, we're on Sunset Coast, me and Turkey, yet again, because when me and Turkey play at this point, at tier 6, the crummy derp comes out because memes. And we love derp, because, you know, derp is love, derp is life. And that is the Cromwell. Derp is love, derp is life. I mean, don't get me wrong. You'd have a better time, a more consistently good time in the Cromwell with the main gun, right? With the 75mm gun that you can get on the tank. But you can just have memes. Many memes. Many, many memes with this derp gun doing silly, silly things. You can get some hilarious shots as well. I mean, it just... It just you, every time when you fire this... Look, that's another one. Oh, we missed. I was going to say, that's another one. Look, I could not see that VK, but I could auto-aim and fire over the ridge into him. Because the shell velocity is that bad, you can do it. So far, up to 307 assistants. And I'm living a little bit dangerously, because there is a lichen above me, and the lichen can just go, and you know what, I'm going to kill you now. Because clip. So we do have to be very, very careful. But we're just... We're not in a very good matchup. We are definitely not in a very good matchup, but it's very, very tier 8. And we're just trying our best to keep the gun firing where we can and make sure that we're not really overextending. There is an Earthshaker here that I'm just going to launch some HE at. Understandably, goes absolutely nowhere near. But you can see here again, this Earthshaker can't really see me, but I can just auto aim and fire over the little ridge line. 119 damage. And it's just... It's, it's hilarious how how much this shell... The thing is, you can actually do some pretty decent damage with it, and how fast this tank fires as well. I mean, for the derp gun, having a reload of 5.5 seconds is really, really nice. And if you actually start getting against lots of tanks that you can pen, like you get a decent pen against, you, you can do some really, really, really good damage very, very quickly, like you saw against the 1357. So we're now going... Onto the side of this Dreadnought. But I don't want the Dreadnought. The Lycan is the one I want. I can pen the Lycan. So we come in, load the heat. I can't really pen it with the HE. But with the heat rounds, yeah. But of course, we miss. I'm ignoring the Dreadnought, by the way. Because he's got so many people facing him. I'm thinking, nah, he's never going to shoot me, is he? Oh, hello, Dreadnought. Okay, we'll, we'll put a shot into you if the Lycan's looking away. We get the heat shell straight in. We get shot from something at D2. And now we're going after the Lycan, which I presumed is actually reloading and unfortunately we miss again <laughs> we missed again because of course we did we try that that heat round pen the side of the is2 with the auto aim and fire over the ridge because of course it did we missed all those shots on the lichen but that auto aim and fire over the ridge into the is2 with 110 pen of heat rounds yeah of course that one flew straight in and as you can see shooting at range of this tank is an absolute pain because yeah but that shell goes in for 297 into the VK3001D because he sat still. Beautiful scenes. The VK2801's just given his back end. <laughs> we pull the trigger in. Of course, he Neos it because you don't have to be Neo. You don't have to be the chosen one to avoid the shells of this tank. <laughs> Oh my lord! It's, it, honestly, watching this thing fire is hilarious, and you see, you're starting to see the ammo problem, though, right? We only have 19 shells left, and we can fire those shells very, very quickly. But we can actually keep missing those shells as well, which would be fairly awkward. We're up to 1500 damage with 386 assistance. I'm having a pretty good game for a tier eight, for a tier eight match in the Cromwell Derp. This is the kind of game that I go, yeah, 50, you know, 1,800, 1,900 combined in a Cromwell Derp in a bottom, a horrifically bottom tier game. I'll take it. And it, But we're not finished here. We get a nice tracking shot into the IS-2. Unfortunately, the, the other tank missed. We fired the heat round. We were aiming for the Capola there of the IS-2 because we could actually pen the IS-2's Capola with heat. But unfortunately for me, well, fortunately, unfortunately, he gets destroyed by the other tank. But we do get the assistance for that, so we'll take it. We're now going after this Paladin. We try and get a shot on the move into the Paladin, but unfortunately, it doesn't go anywhere near. We go for the on the move shot into the IS-6, and of course, it hits because why not? Now the Paladin is looking the other way we get up behind his ass and we pen it for 379 because we're a tier 6 medium tank me and turkey are circling now i go for the shot just to track him in place and he ends up getting shut down we just needed to stop that paladin moving then as opposed to just trying to pen his ass 
and this is what happened. Now we've got the IS-6 where Looper Shell hits the top of his roof, does 90-something damage. We aim for the upper plate and hit his roof deck, like, 153 TP. It's just... I, I love watching the shells. I, oh, my lord. It's just so dope-tastic. I love it. It's so horrifically awful that you can't stop... You can't just help but laugh. And this 53 TP has been spun around and we managed to finish the game with 2.4k damage and 957 assistance. And the victory, top of the team, with 1753 base XP in the ace tanker and a confederate medal in a horrendously tier 8 game for... Well, not horrendously, but in a tier 8 game for the crommy derp. Derp is love, derp is life. My goodness me, I love this tank for the, those kinds of memes. I love watching the shell. If you ever want to see another shell that goes even slower, try the Crusader with the derp. Now that is a slow shell. <laughs> so as always, everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. A great success!